what kind of job you can do and the computer or the AI cannot do? It's a good question. Okay. Good question. AI will not replace the people. Finance, supply chain, HR. What's your main KPIs that you look for? I should make my customers happy. How do you see yourself as a salesperson in this case? Most of the CIOs, they have to learn how to be a salespeople. I still hear the passion. Are you satisfied with what you're doing? I'm still uh, having a lot in my pocket to give. If you don't innovate, you will evaporate. You will evaporate. Manpower, material, machine, and margin. So deep. I mean, I love this information. Three, two, one, go. Welcome to East Talks Business and thank you so much for being with us again. Today we have a very special guest, Tamer Hamad. For me, he's one of the biggest entrepreneurs I have in Dubai and in the Middle East. I know a lot about Tamer, but I will not speak about him so much or let him speak about himself. But I think if you mix technology, expertise with entrepreneurship, understanding, knowledge transfer, expertise, it somehow explains Tamer in my mind. Tamer, welcome to East Talks Business and thank you so much for being with us today. Thank you, Hani, and uh, thank you for inviting me and being here with you. Do you want to add something to the audience about Tamer? Okay, uh, <laughs> it's, uh, I'll make the long story short. Okay, yeah. uh, my name is Tamer Hamid and uh, I'm Egyptian. Um, I moved here uh, uh, to Dubai. I was lucky to move here in Dubai in 1999, oh. last century. And um, I joined one of uh, the most uh, famous and uh, most important uh, pharmaceutical industry, pharmaceutical uh, company industry here in, uh, in uh, UAE and in the Middle East, one of the biggest uh, of them. Uh, it's called Jilfar, Gulf Pharmaceutical Industry in Ras Al Khaimah. Uh, I work uh, with Jilfar uh, for about uh, 16 years here in Dubai. Before I was also uh, in Jilfar, Egypt for mm -hmm. uh, for three years. Then, then I joined here as an IT manager. That was my first position when I, I joined here. Then I work now with them. I work with them for around 16 years. As I told, I went through a lot of uh, development, uh, the, uh, management uh, teams and uh, management uh, changes. Um, I was lucky to work with them. I learned a lot and then I was more lucky to join uh, my existing uh, company, which is uh, DoCab, uh, Dubai Cable Company. Uh, Dubai Cable Company is uh, very short. It's 50% uh, owned by uh, Dubai government and 50% owned by uh, Abu Dhabi government. And uh, uh, I joined DoCap on the on the time of going out of the bottle of the neck uh, to the to the to more to more excited and more uh, globalized uh, business. Mm -hmm. um, that was in 2017 exactly. And the journey where I joined them uh, for the last uh, six years, let me say. Um, also, I learned a lot and I, uh, I develop a lot in uh, in uh, DoCap. Um, I was I was delighted with uh, very good management available very good colleagues on the management team uh, which understanding the business dynamics understanding the, uh, the importance of the technology and the digitalization uh, the era of the digitalization which we are in right now so I start implementing what I dream of and what I find that that will be more uh, feasible and more important for the business um, I started and I start studying and I start architecting and I start putting the strategy and uh, there was a lot of patience, a lot of understanding and uh, within the last two, two to three years, let me say right now, I think I implemented a very good and uh, a platform which called Blade. Mm -hmm. One of one of the unique and uh, and unique. I can say it's unique on the region. Uh, it's based on uh, 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 IT uh, industry 4.0 technology, and uh, it's more more about focus on the factory and the more focus on the uh, planet management and the uh, uh, administration. Give give the executives team a full uh, helicopter view of whatever happening on the organization. I was successful implementing this and I was successful to launch this uh, six months back and um, I think we have a lot of a lot of output I think during the discussions we were going deep dive on it well congratulations for blade first of all and I think with all this passion I would ask you a very interesting question after all these years doing the job I still hear the passion are you satisfied with what you're doing 
for sure i love what i'm doing i love i love what i'm doing i feel myself on it uh, definitely during the time you'll find a lot of ups and downs uh, mm -hmm. during your life during your career you'll find a lot of ups and downs but from all these ups and downs i'm learning a lot and i learned a lot actually uh, from these ups and downs but i keep love what i'm doing i keep uh, uh, maintaining and sustaining the passionate about what i'm doing um, and alhamdulillah I'm, I'm, um, i can i can consider myself alhamdulillah success on what i did and uh, I'm still doing and I'm still uh, having a lot in my pocket to give. Absolutely. I mean, success is very clear to us and I think it's it's a great to be with you here. Let's go back to Blade. How do you think Blade will serve the industry? See, Blade uh, Blade is very let me say it's not unique, but it's unique in the region, mm -hmm. unique on the unique on the industry itself. Um, uh, I'm I'm working uh, since 25 years now in the Yes, in the IT, mm -hmm. uh, as, a, as an IT person, as an IT professional, but mainly I'm working in the manufacturing industry. Mm -hmm. So I know the, the, the inside, outside of the manufacturing. And when we are talking about manufacturing, it's manufacturing from food and beverage, pharmaceutical, uh, plastic, uh, cables, it's all manufacturing. Uh, so uh, I, I understand I, or I understood whatever is happening on the, on the manufacturing industry. So that's why uh, I, I start thinking of how to break the black box. Mm -hmm. The black box here is the usually is the factory, is the planet, and how and how you can understand how the people inside this planet and this manufacturing or these factories, how they are doing, what they are doing. Mm -hmm. Nobody knows. And I can pet anyone who's not having industry 4.0, which we already implemented, is understanding exactly what's happening inside the factory. You can understand what's happening which we, with what the plant managers or the manufacturing engineers, they need to give you or they need you to know. To you, yeah. Or they need you to know. Mm -hmm. Other mm -hmm. than this, you will never can can understand what's going on. So I, with, with Blade, I came with the approach of how I can break this black box mm -hmm. it's not for the sake it's not for the sake of just knowing and just understanding what's going on inside the factory but but because by somehow or other you might you may know but it's also be to help those uh, uh, fact uh, factory engineers and plant managers because i believe and we will come to it also later on in the details discussion as much as you have a visualization and understanding of what you're already doing you can you can enhance it you can optimize Correct. it Correct. but you cannot optimize something which you don't you don't realize or you're not you're not having any visual and understanding of what you're already doing and having so that's what we did we already uh, give them the tool and give them the monitor where from anywhere wherever he is in the car driving traveling anywhere on the earth he can just open his tablet or open his mobile even and he can understand what is the uh, what is the uh, utilization of the machines how the machines are running which machine is down which machine is up what kind of product is manufacturing now in any machine so he will be having 360 degree mm -hmm. about the whole factory whatever is happening here on the factory we are taking this and put it in another uh, place where we are getting out all the data and put it connected to the finance supply chain hr uh, whatever it's happening across the organization to analyze and to get the benefit and to get to understand this information in a very good way. That's exactly and simply what, what we did in, uh, in Blade. It looks very deep, actually. So basically what you did yeah. is you discovered what's inside this black box, first of yeah. all. Yeah. Then you start giving the tools and the elements to all the team to understand how exactly. can they make it better. And then you start kind of, if I understand correctly, you're trying to find the enhancement uh, subjects, let's say, to make it better for them. Does yeah, that make you sense? You understand better than me, honey. But <laughs> anyhow, <laughs> let me tell you, no, uh, it's it's coming on a strategy which we build from the beginning and start working on this strategy. It's called 4M strategy. Okay. 4M strategy, it's, it's manpower, material, machine, and margin. Okay. Okay. Manpower is how you have to understand how many people you need to manufacture any product and running any machine. Mm-hmm. If, if you if you as a CEO or you as a CFO, you will come and the plant manager or with all my respect to all of them, he will come and tell you, I uh, no, I need 10 people to run uh, to run this product. No, it's impossible. I have to get 10 people. Mm -hmm. OK, at the end of the day, when you find that you when you when you realize you find that this this uh, product, it needs only three people. Mm -hmm. So 
who is going to tell you how many people capacity, capacity no the, the manpower so that's the, that's number that's one the manpower. Okay. number two is the material mm -hmm. so realizing and uh, and measuring the materials and uh, the consumption of the material that gives you a view very much on the material and how much material you are utilizing for each product for each machine mm -hmm. for each timing i will tell you something the same machine the same product the same uh, uh, output we can find that they are using they are using 75% as example of 75 kilo in the uh, uh, morning shift mm -hmm. in the night shift we find that they are using 25% more or 30 30% okay. more why okay. they are doing like this because nobody is visualizing them nobody is supervising them when how we can realize this from where you can realize which time which machine which which operator now we can you can understand that this machine with this product with this operator the op the, the output is better than anyone else so like this so monitoring yeah monitoring exactly then mm -hmm. third part is the machine mm -hmm. the third m is the machine how much the machine is utilizing how much time it takes to manufacture the product how much time it takes to maintain how much mm -hmm. time it takes to the utilization of the machine the mm -hmm. running time all of this happening and measuring by using the iot which is the Correct. internet, internet of, things. of things yeah and and putting all this data to the mes manufacturing execution system to grab all the data and put it somewhere where you can visualize all this data as a plant manager mm -hmm. finally and the most important part which all working on is the margin mm -hmm. the four m is the fourth m is the margin so we what we are doing here we are blending the the three m the the first three m to get the op the maximum optimization out of them and achieve the margin which we are looking for the profit that's, margin which we are that's looking for. so deep i mean i love this information i think all our audience would be loving to understand what the four m yeah. so let's repeat the four m just to close this topic so the manpower, first m manpower material, material machine machine to the to ma the margin. margin excellent thank you so much for this so if we skip out of the deep dive in the manufacturing area what as a cio right now in general as an entrepreneur cio let's say what's your main kpis that you look for two things first of all make uh, m make the data visual mm -hmm. provide the most important and reliable information make the decision taking from all the uh, top of the organization more easier mm -hmm. uh, that's that's the that's more the most important part make the data available and make the data available to everyone so that's number one number yeah. two that the second kpi is customer success customer satisfaction so what i'm looking for here is to make sure that my customers because i use always the principle of I'm serving customers, mm -hmm. I'm serving people, and I have to get the customer satisfaction from everyone. So that's my my uh, principle, uh, not KPI, I consider it as a principle to, to achieve that I should make my customers happy, I should make my customers trusting me, that's that's the most important. So customer part. come first, which is I think this is your main yeah. rule. Definitely. By yeah. giving the right data, which data we always Right know. data, right time to take the right decision. Excellent. So this is on the KPI side. Tamer, with your expertise, and we know that you're obviously too much expert in, in your subject, uh, we call it the subject matter expert, which is very true on your in your case. Mm -hmm. How do you advise other CIOs in the region what you can advise them to do if they are struggling somehow in running their business? It's not, it's not struggling. I'll tell you what's the, what's, or what's the, op, what's the challenge yeah, and what's yeah. the obstacles always standing uh, in front of all of us head of IT or CIOs or digital transformation officers. Uh, the main thing is they know what's right. They know what to achieve and what, what's the organization required. Mm -hmm. But uh, but we, we have a principle and there is a principle always happening and that's uh, unfortunately it's it's uh, it's a leg legacy in our in our field in IT field that everybody uh, wait for the business or wait for the functional business or functional uh, uh, professional to come and request it or to say that this is required mm -hmm. i think it's it's not the right way i mean if you if you depend on the driver the owner of the car if you didn't remind him as an agency of the car or owner of the car if you didn't remind him usually to maintain the car the to make sure date. about yeah. the service date mm -hmm. everything mm -hmm. 
the car will be Broken. collapsed. Correct. Okay, so that's the same situation. I think uh, uh, most of most of the CIOs and digital inform uh, digital transformation officers they have to learn how to be a salespeople. <laughs> that's the I most. Like that. <laughs> yeah, that's the most the most important skill and most important qualification they have to look for. With all my respect to, to whatever whatever we are learning from Six Sigma project management, uh, everything that's very good. That's that's required. I don't I don't say that Absolutely. this is not required, mm -hmm. but in a certain level, in a certain position, you understand what's required for the business. You understand what should be happened right to the business. So you should work as a salesperson to convince the, the board, to convince the board and your colleagues and the management team that what you should do and how you should do and what's the benefit of it. And what's if you didn't do it? Mm -hmm. What's the consequences of not doing such a thing? And what's the benefit if we did it? So it's, it's like exactly uh, playing the role of sales guy who can sell the right technology and right uh, uh, platforms to, the, to, the, to his clients. Do you think selling to the board is harder than selling to the employees who will use yeah, the system? Yeah, exactly. That's the most, the most important challenge. And that's coming, and I don't need to say, I, know, I don't need to mention here, but uh, uh, it's something which you have to, you have to be a bit tough little bit with the with your with the stuff you can give them first uh, first uh, uh, chance mm -hmm. uh, second uh, round uh, i think third round is not required because if they didn't get it from the first round they will never get it uh, easily after they this you have you have to you have to use your other skills <laughs> <laughs> so having how do you see yourself as a salesperson in this case? Are you successfully I, managing I was, selling I was, the again, ideas? Again, I was lucky. Mm -hmm. Again, I was so lucky in my life because, uh, as I told you, I start my career in the pharmaceutical business. Mm -hmm. And in, in the pharmaceutical business, uh, the most important and the highest, and they are the highest on, the, on, on earth doing marketing and sales and i was lucky attending most of the uh, most of the uh, conferences most of the training related to the sales and, uh, mm. and uh, most of the training also related to the marketing of the product so i saw how they are preparing for marketing uh, plans for the products because when i started my career i started i started my career in the crm uh, platforms uh -huh, uh -huh. customer mm -hmm. relationship management so when i started on this i was i was very much connected to the sales and marketing team so i was lucky to be in, uh, uh, attached to them and then understanding the tactics the way the um, the role the the the, the, the role uh, what's call it the sales roles uh, calls sales role and uh, plays, yeah. all of this uh, so i was i was lucky understanding all of this so it helps me you're applying that so i start applying and, and the other <laughs> way around yeah. well that's that's amazing to hear as well so let's move to another very important topic and i know you love that one which is ai right yeah so i don't know you want to speak about ai impacting manufacturing or ai in general it's up to you but both, as an expert both I learn because from you because part of part of uh, part of the industry 4.0 or played which we already implemented a very big part uh, of it related to the artificial intelligence mm -hmm. so let me let me tell you to, so who who knows and who don't knows about the ai actually ai long time back it's available it's not yeah it comes easily that everybody start aware about the ai because of chat gpt correct ChatGPT, it's open because it's a natural language, so everybody start understanding the natural language and start dealing with, with it very easy. Even my 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 kids at home, they start using the ChatGPT right now, so it's very it's very common now. So, but step back for this. What's AI? AI is an algorithm. It's a, a certain uh, algorithm you build it to understand uh, all your uh, habits, requirement, whatever you, whatever you are doing, and then giving you the right direction and the right option to take the decision. It's not taking the decision for you. Mm -hmm. It gives you the options of taking the decision. Okay, from where it takes the option of taking the decision, which everybody is uh, uh, ignoring and not looking to this very well, which something uh, before the AI, which called ML. Mm -hmm. the machine learning machine, learning, yeah. machine learning is more complicated more important and more deep required before the ai without the machine learning you so will right. never get the proper ai so what we did uh, or what what i what i understand about the ai let me back again to the ai so ai is it's not the future it's the current we we live on the ai it's right the present. now it's the presence where we are living mm -hmm. right now so uh, it's not any more uh, optional 
it's not any more optional whoever is going to learn ai or whoever whoever is going to learn anything right now he should think one one i was i was giving a, a lecture in uh, american university in charge last week uh, during the cop 28 and i was discussing with them that uh, they, they asked me one question how do you see the future mm -hmm. exactly uh, 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 a gentleman there I, i remember his name actually he asked me very very deep question i'm saying how do you see the future i I stand for about 30 seconds, 30 seconds, just thinking, what can I answer for this guy? That's, this guy is, he's, he's coming open to the, <laughs> open, open to the future. This guy is just going out from the university to face the life. What kind of answer I have to answer him? So I told him, see, he is asking the question relatively to the AI. To the AI, yeah. To the AI. So I asked, I told him, see. AI will not replace the people. Don't uh, don't the, 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 the people don't don't accept this. Which is this. a perception. People thinking that way. Yeah. Still. Don't, don't don't think like this. Mm -hmm. It will never replace the people. It will it will replace the numbers of people. Mm -hmm. So, as an example, if you have 30 lawyers in a, a lawyer office, and we have 30 lawyers, I I don't need 30 lawyers anymore. To write and to edit and to uh, to look to the books and to read the books. No, everything is available. Out of the 30, maximum I want two. Mm -hmm. I don't need uh, uh, editors in the in the magazines or in this one because خلاص, everything will be happened. Uh, nobody will write anymore from the voice. The voice will be tra uh, transferred to a text. The text will be adjusted and the adjustment will be happening in a different moods and then it will be it will be coming. So don't think that. But at least instead of 20 or 30, uh, again, uh, uh, editors, I want one or two maximum. So that's what that it will it will reduce the number required for people. Why? Because at the end, AI will do the dump work with all my respect. It Which will, is correct. It will keep the dumping until further notes. I don't know what's going on. We so, still need human. Yeah, yeah, still, still, definitely, still mm. we will, we will. But we'll for need, the critical we'll roles, let's yeah, say. But for the not the critical roles. No, let us come to the to the certain points. I'll mm -hmm. tell you. I'll tell you life example. Mm -hmm. Life example with my son Amr. Amr was Amr was very brilliant in the school, and he was one of one of my uh, 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 brilliant sons, and uh, he's he's very good in the school, but. He came and tell me, I, I told him what uh, in grade 11, I told him what do you need to study? He said, uh, freely can I talk? I said, yes, sure, we can talk. He told me <laughs> I want to go to uh, uh, to the law, uh, law school. Okay. I said, law school? Mm. I never think about it. I mean, in our whole family, there isn't anyone in the law school. Research. I know nobody's a lawyer. Mm -hmm. We are either all of us is either engineers or uh, pharmacists or doctors. All mm -hmm. of us are physicians. So nobody is lawyer. I mean, I, I never. <laughs> so I told him, lawyer. From where? You go? Ah, baba, this is very important. Uh, all my all the lawyers are very high uh, uh, paid. paid and yeah. very high. I said. Do you, did, did you see the future, how it's going? Did you see how it's, how it's happening? There is, there is no more lawyers. That's no true. more lawyers. Yeah. This is the first job will be totally digitalized. Mm -hmm. Totally digitalized. Mm -hmm. Only one or two people, that, that's the fine people will be doing the, the job. So that's I, a life example. Yeah, that's a and example. I, tell, yeah. I, I, I give him and I show him by, uh, practically, I show him the, the, uh, the, the way how it works. And the, so he convinced and he now he's uh, he's an engineering uh, school so, so you managed to back, sell to him yeah, the idea yeah, yeah. so back to back to the guy who asked me how you find the future, the future so yeah. i told him i told him see uh, you have to think one only one thing what kind of job and what kind of uh, practice you can do which the computer cannot do that's the only thing which or oh, you you will use the computer that's there is no any doubt of it you will use the computer But nowadays, I'll tell you one, one more thing. One, one guy, he was asking me, he's having a problem on his vehicle. And then he asked me one question. Tamir, do you know a very good, have a good garage because my car is horrible and I don't know what to do in it? And I said, yeah, there is a very good guy available in, in this place. So he told me, okay, when we can go to him? I told him, any time, whatever you want. So he, said, he asked me one question. He didn't ask me how old is he, from where he is, uh, what kind of cars he is doing. He asked me one question. He's having a computer to check the car? Yes, it's a good question. 
That's okay. a good question. So, it's what, so what's the computer is going to do? Computer is not going to fix the car. No, we'll check everything, diagnose it. You will put the computer, Correct. the computer will make a round, and then it will tell you this part is having a problem, this part is having Correct. a problem, this part is having the problem, check. That's Screen, it. Screening, scanning, S yeah. diagnosis, That's this it. is what you need to exactly. do. Exactly. Then if he's not a good mechanic, he will not fix it. Correct. If he's not a good uh, uh, electric electrician, he will never. He will the never human do that. Yeah, Come that's the human part here. Mm -hmm, okay. Mm -hmm, the, mm -hmm. So that's that's uh, that's a life question. And I told him the life question, the guy, and I told him think only about one thing: that what kind of job you can do, and the computer or the AI cannot do. Cannot. Do. If the AI can do it, so think about something else to to not to secure, but to feel comfortable and to build your life based on it. Second thing. Who knows computer here? Who use ChatGPT? I ask all of them. Hmm. And I told him, whoever not raise his hand here, he is in a very big trouble. Very, very big trouble. So it's far think, behind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You are far behind. And don't yeah. think, and I know your teen, teenagers, you are having your own uh, uh, stuff, uh, tough mind that, no, I will be fine without, uh, without anything. No. no, you will not. No, exactly. I'm telling you from now, I'm coming from the future and telling you, no, you will I'm not be. I'm coming from the future. Yeah, I'm coming from the <laughs> future and telling you, no, you will not be. So please uh, focus on your life. That that's not an optional any anymore. You have if you and the more more advanced to be is to do the AI itself. Learn AI. It's not it's not something which is which is uh, uh, magic magic or something uh, unbelievable or something uh, rocket science. It's not. It's very easy nowadays. Even they're providing a platforms which can which called no code low code platform. Mm -hmm. So you can generate by yourself i mean my kids at home they can generate the applications by themselves using the low code no code platform in a in a 10 minutes and oh. this no code low code platform it, it's also including ai mm -hmm. and machine learning so so everything is available you just need to be part of it and need to you learn need it. to convince and you need to work on yourself to build yourself and to be there Obviously, AI is a big topic for you, Tamer. So maybe we can do another episode about that as well yeah, to go sure. much deeper. Sure. Because I think it's it's very informative. Honestly, I, myself, I learned a lot. I Again, I'm always be happy to talk to you because we learn a lot. Um, let's move to another thing because you mentioned about COP28, which is the most biggest yeah. event happening at the moment yeah. in yeah. the region, and I think it affects the world globally. First of all, how do you see the event going? Is it really matching the agenda that it was meant to deliver or to achieve? Beyond. And the second thing, how you see that moving forward impacting our life? Okay. Uh, first of all, uh, COP28, and uh, this is my personal, and take it from my side. Uh, <laughs> COP28 is lucky being and organizing uh, their 28 uh, cup i mean the the, the 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 organization the united nation was lucky to manage the cup on the 28th edition in dubai in, in dubai. uae mm -hmm. they are they are lucky mm -hmm. first of all i can i can tell you the the maximum number of visitors ever happened in the last 25 uh, episodes of cup happened in 28 and that the numbers will be coming maybe after some time uh, COP28 and Dubai itself understand the importance of this and understand the mindset of, the, not the mindset, the way of how the COP28 is going. Mm -hmm. You cannot do anything with the existing generation. Me, you, everybody, khalas. We are we used to the electricity, we used to the lifestyle which we are doing right now. It's very difficult for us to change. Okay? What Dubai and the organization of COP28 in Dubai, what they did, they start going to all the universities, all the schools from the any kind of generation from the KG1, KG2 and above everybody and start inviting them to this one. And they, they manage, I don't know if you went there or not. So but this is the green zone. The green zone. Yeah. And they manage for every for every group to be going with an organizer who is going through the all the uh, posts and all the parts and explain to them, to the kids. To the kids from the KG1, one first grade, second, until the university, they start informing them and talking to them about the importance of the sustainability, the greens, the, the reducing the carbon, all of this. They start mm -hmm. talking about it with them. Mm -hmm. 
So those guys, they start understanding. I mean, mm. that build to them, you start putting the seed. This seed will grow year by year, year by year, and that's will reach to the, whenever they come to the teenager or whenever they get matured or they get bigger, so they will understand. They will start practicing. Because they hear about it, but they don't they, really understand what's hear, going on. They hear, they, now they hear about it and, and they now will they start know. practicing. Mm -hmm. They hear about it and they start. To, that's the intelligence part of how mm -hmm. here COP28, they manage it in excellent, Dubai. Excellent. I can tell you, I'm Egyptian and you know and I was I, I was I was following uh, uh, cup 27 in Egypt mm -hmm. and it was it was the same mm -hmm. very good well organized 100% but it was not having that much understanding and deep understanding depth, yeah. depth mm -hmm. understanding mm -hmm. that's number uh, one number two Dubai already was understanding what's what's the what's coming, what's the importance of using the green uh, uh, and the human and uh, and um, the nature the natural resources on this. Mm -hmm. So you can see um, Hamad Bar Rashid the solar panel. You can see the the, the development happening on There's the wind. There's already projects based the on that. Yeah, there there is a real project. Well. There are real real practice already. Mm. It's not it's not something just uh, for for fun or some. No, it's practice there already. Mm -hmm. We seen it. We leave it. We we are we're already part of it so that's uh, that's uh, part the second part the third part talking about cup 28 itself cup 28 is mainly talking about the sustainability yeah so it's not about generating or doing something or making a very good uh, uh, achievement it's whatever the achievement it is it's how you sustain this achievement it's how you go forward with this achievement and make sure that this achievement is developed day after day and and uh, time by, by time it's not just just the achievement so if you reach to an agriculture place so how you can increase this agriculture how you can reduce the the the, the waste how you can uh, manage the output or green the output all of this it's need it needs a lot of understanding of the meaning of sustainability and definitely there is no sustainability without digitalization and without, without digitalization. So the importance of the digitalization on this part and how you can develop and how you can get the digitalization part of this sustainability and the growth of, of uh, the natural resources. So I hope you enjoyed it. Are you going again? Uh, uh, today for me it was the last day today, but uh, definitely if we want to go, we can go together. Well, let's do that. I think. Just back to your point about Dubai organizing it, I think it, it's a, the best choice, right? We know that Dubai is leading in organizing such kind of events. I'm, I'm telling you, no messing I'm telling that. you, Cup tw Cup Twenty Eight is lucky. Yeah, developing, I mean, uh, organizing uh, this uh, episode here in Dubai. I will agree on the lucky part, and we're actually lucky to have you with us today. No, I'm, I'm, I'm so I happy want... being with you here, honey. No, it's it's our pleasure Thank and you. our honor as well, Tamer. Thank you. Finally one advice to the entrepreneurs in general people who wants to find their way in technology what do you advise them to do if somebody is still finding their way they just graduated fresh graduated or just started the job but they don't know yet how it will look like afterwards yeah. we are expanding like more 25 26 years in business so we know what to do at least but uh, what do you advise these people let's see i uh, i am I'm always, I'm always being, and as you know, I'm always being in conferences and meeting with people, and I'm also lecturing in, in some of uh, some of the universities, correct, and uh, even some of the schools. Sometimes I can tell you that something was shocking everybody. Mm. I can tell you that many of those uh, new generation, they have, they have a lot of ideas, a lot of innovations, a lot of. Creativity. Things, things, no, 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 a lot of things happening on going their on. mind, mm -hmm. going on in their mind, which nobody can realize or nobody can believe mm -hmm. that such things going on. Uh, from the very uh, uh, early teenagers and going to up. What I'm saying is, but where, where, where is this going? Mm -hmm. It's not going anywhere. It's not and shared. It's not it's shared. Not it's not out of their yeah. mind. That's, yeah. the, that's the main problem. That's the problem. I think we need. I think we need uh, uh, um, an environment where we can get out, whatever those people are talking and whatever those those generation are thinking of. We need we need some platform or something where we can get out all of this. That's number one. Number two, they need somebody to talk to them to let them go out of what they are thinking. Uh, uh, talk, mm -hmm. give us, say. So innovation. I am. I'm always believe in innovation, and I'm always believe on. If you not, if you are not innovate, uh, if you didn't innovate, you will evaporate. 
I like that. Yeah. So you have to innovate. If you don't innovate, you will evaporate. You will evaporate. I like so, that. One. So you have to innovate. You have to have uh, always a new ideas. You have to be always ahead of anyone. Anyone. I mean, me should be ahead of you. You should be ahead of me. We should find a way of being always in the top and advanced than anyone else uh, by innovation. It's mm -hmm. not by anything else. Mm -hmm. uh, anything else will not work. By working hard and by innovation. Innovate. Stick with your innovation if you believe on it. Believe on it. Work on it. And and whatever the failures happen, keep keep going. Keep going. Keep going. One of one of the very big ministers I I I, I remember him very well, and he's very close to me personally. Actually, he always he always give me a, a, a word which I'm always I'm very honored by by this word. He's telling me, Tamir, you are a fighter. You will do it. That's, I love that. That's that's <laughs> he's that's uh, that's always ringing in my in my head and in my brain and uh, I'm always hearing this that that being a fighter is the way to success. And I definitely agree because you know me I'm a yeah, yeah. big fighter <laughs> with that so that's a hundred percent agreed on. Yeah. Tamar, I don't say usually what's your dream because I don't like the word of dream. I like yeah. it to be more of a goal. Yeah. You tell me, is it a goal or a dream? Uh, it's a dream to be goal. Okay. Uh, 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 first of all, as I said, innovation is the first part. You innovate means that you dream. You dream of something. You dream to achieve it. This dream, it's like... Uh, formalized uh, it's like, in something. Yeah, it's like uh, just a uh, list and then uh, it will formalize. Mm -hmm. This formalization is an innovation idea. This idea, you should start from this idea and start formalizing this idea in a different way to start practicing and doing so. From my dream to my goal, Alhamdulillah, whatever I dreamed, I I, I success, I achieved, and I success achieving uh, achieving us. And uh, uh, my goal, my goals is always to be uh, trusted. Uh, whatever whatever it is, uh, I need I need always to be. I will look always to be trusted, trusted from my colleagues, trusted from my friends. Um, I believe that trust is is the the first key for anything else. If the people trust you, if the people understand that you are a trusted person for whatever they, they can tell you, they can understand from you, they can take the advice from you, they can uh, do. So trust is the most important. So what I'm looking for is always to be a trusted person. That's number one. Number two, uh, definitely I want to be as as you are calling me and many of my friends also are calling me an entrepreneur. Please. So I I would love to be not business, but my own initiative idea, which I can convert it to a business, which is there already. But uh, but I think it's it's something uh, it's still it's still a dream. Cooking. It's still a dream. It's still <laughs> okay, a dream. Still a need, dream. Okay. need to be formalized, but uh, I, I, I could, uh, I could do it. I know that it can be done, and uh, one day we will share it together, inshallah. Well, inshallah, I think 100% sure. you're a trusted entrepreneur, at least for myself, and I think with the audience that will hear us today. Thank you. And I wish you definitely to achieve your dream, and I know somehow about it, but <laughs> let's wait to see yeah. it happening and inshallah. shining. And again, thank you so much, Tamir, for being with us today. I think thank it was you, very honey. informative for me personally, and I hope everybody will like it. I'm so and happy with you. Thank you so much for being with us. Thank and thank you for uh, my audience and my uh, fans as well for East Talks Business. I think it was very, very special episode to with us today. Looking forward to hear your comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe and talk to you soon.